Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this is another unscheduled reaction video but this one is Marvel related because yesterday was the Super Bowl and as per usual Marvel just dropped a bunch of new trailers and some of their upcoming stuff so this video I'm going to be reacting to it. First is some short trailer spots for the Disney Plus Marvel shows which is what I'm most excited to react to right now because the Marvel shows are going to be so good so there's a Wonder and Vision show and then there's going to be one with the Falcon and Winter Soldier which I am so excited for because that's probably going to have Sam as Captain America in it and then the one that I'm most excited about is the Loki show y'all know how much I love Loki he has been like my favorite ever since I first got into Marvel when I was like 12 years old and now he's gonna have his own show. I am so excited. It, oh, I'm so excited. So I say we just go ahead and watch the trailer that they released for all of these shows. I know it's only short, but I am excited nonetheless. Okay, let's watch it. It's time. Wanda, welcome home. Vision residents. Whoa. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, no way! Ah! Oh my god, it was short, but oh, we got a lot in that. Okay, so we'll start with Wonder and Vision. It looks very much kind of like a a, a sitcom sort of show. Like, yeah, it look it definitely looks kind of not exactly like an action superhero type thing that we would expect. It definitely looks more kind of rom com sitcom type thing. But like, some one thing I did notice was like one of her outfits. She had like the actual Scarlet Witch outfit from the comics, where she has like the headband thingy and like the red, which looked cool. But yeah, I don't really know what to expect from that show. Wonder and Vision aren't exactly my favorite characters, but that show definitely looks like it's gonna be interesting. I'll definitely be watching it, of course. Okay, cut to the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. So, Sam with the shield, oh my goodness. Zemo was in it, so it looks like maybe he breaks out of jail or something. I don't know, I mean, to be fair, we don't know, you know, what happened, because like the snap and everything that happened in Infinity War and Endgame could have changed stuff and like the time travel they did. So, you know, maybe it changed something and he was able to break out of jail or he never got put in jail, who knows? Bucky has short hair again, he cut his hair. So that one looks really exciting, especially when we're gonna get Sam as Captain America, it's gonna be so cool. And then Loki, <laughs> we got like one clip from his show, but oh my goodness. So I, I, uh, I missed him. Him. Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Ah. So I think what everyone has predicted, has it been confirmed? I don't know that I think it may have been confirmed, but the Loki TV series is going to take place in the alternate timeline where he escapes with the Tesseract in the first Avengers film. I can't remember if that's official or not, but that's definitely what we pre um, predicted it was going to be. From that, it definitely looks like it could be. It looks like he gets arrested or something. He was in like jail clothes or something, but then him being like, I'm going to burn this place to the ground. Oh, yeah, that definitely sounds like Loki from the first Avengers film. So, you know, I'm just so excited for new Loki content because I just love Loki so much. <laughs> I think that's all I have to say about that. I just knew I had to react to it because like, I'm so excited. We don't even get Disney Plus in England until like March, but I am so excited. So the other thing that I have that I can react to is a new trailer for the Black Widow film that they showed at Super Bowl. I never actually reacted to the first one, but I will react to this one in this video. Let's do it, shall we? You don't know everything about me. The Avengers weren't my first family. At some point, we all have to choose between what the world wants you to be. Natasha, my sister, after all this time, what brings you home? I'm on the run. I was trying to do something good. 
Yeah, so it takes place off the Super Bowl. You're fooling yourself. We are Thanks. still both train killers. <laughs> we have unfinished business. This is we. I love our hair. Still fits, hmm? Family. Back together again. It's gonna be weird watching this. Set. Being a Stranger Things fan. <laughs> There's a new world of widows. New enemies. I'm done running from my past. Who the hell is that guy? Wait, hang on, hang on, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Who the hell is that guy? Who the hell is that guy? That's a taskmaster, isn't it? That's the taskmaster. That's gotta be that's the taskmaster. Surely, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the taskmaster. <gasps> Oh, that's gonna be so cool. I love the Taskmaster. He's been in like all the animated Marvel shows that I've watched, like Ultimate Spider-Man. Was he in Earth's Mightiest Heroes? I can't remember. He was definitely in Ultimate Spider-Man and he's probably been in some of the others that I've watched, but like the Taskmaster is really cool because for anyone who doesn't know, Loki spoilers, I guess, if you don't know stuff about the comics, he can like pick up other people's skills which is why that's why i thought it was him because he got up the exact same way natasha did because he's like copying her fighting style yeah taskmaster oh so cool he has the shield and everything <gasps> that's gonna be sick okay it's about goddamn time that we got a solo black widow movie she's been in the mcu for so long and finally she's getting her own film like several years too late honestly marvel <laughs> that was cool i don't really know what else to say i'm excited just because black widow is finally getting a solo movie so i'm excited to see what it ends up being like i can't remember if we know when exactly it's set from what she said it sounds like it might be after civil war but don't quote me on that i don't know i do love her hair though i think this might be my favorite black widow hairstyle i think i'll have to see the movie and then i'll make my decision but at the moment i think it is just the classic long red hair you know it's black widow black widow Yes, okay, I am so excited. So, I think I will leave you guys here. That was my reaction. The Disney Plus shows, oh, Black Widow. It's gonna be so good. I am so excited. It's gonna be interesting, I think, this year for Marvel. It feels so different because obviously after Endgame, that was like the end of an era. And now, you know, we've said goodbye to several characters and like the films we're starting to get films of characters we don't actually know anything about yet so like it's a whole new phase in the mcu it's kind of weird i miss tony but like i'm so excited to see what they do with it and what everything's gonna be like so yeah that was my reaction i hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video goodbye